Good morning, Skyline United Methodist Church family. For those of you I haven't met yet, I'm Sandy Frederick, and I'm your congregation's lay leader. And I'm bringing you the announcements this morning because today is Sunday, October 18th, the 20th Sunday after Pentecost, but today is also Laity Sunday. Laity Sunday is the day that lay members of our congregation get the chance to lead us all in worship. And it's the day that our clergy gets to take a step back from their duties and responsibilities and actually get to worship alongside us. It's a chance for us to thank our clergy as well as to celebrate our congregation. So you'll see all the usual videos today on our Skyland YouTube channel, but they'll be offered by your fellow congregation members. Today's sermon is offered by Celeste Tolbert with the scripture passage read by Jim Tolbert. The children's sermon is presented by Miranda Watson. The prayer today is from Karen Rohr. You'll enjoy music selections from Linda Jones, accompanied by Judy Groby and Janet Jennings. And you'll also enjoy music from Ella Kate Poole, as well as Ross Terman. I know you'll be blessed today by all of these offerings. For our announcements, I have a few. Some are reminders of ongoing efforts and some are new. Our COVID-19 relief fund, it continues to receive donations, so thank you. We've given assistance to Skyland Church family members, as well as to our local partner nonprofit organizations who are assisting those families impacted by COVID. And please know that you're encouraged to apply for assistance as needed, confidentially, of course. The contacts can be found in the weekly email with the newsletter. The Zoom brunches continue on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Remember that you have the chance to visit informally and just chat with Pastor Dan and your fellow Skyland family members. It is such a nice opportunity to see the smiling faces of your friends. The Zoom link is always in the emails with the newsletter. The Blessing Box is seeing more and more use there on our church property. And what a blessing this supply really is to those that are in need. The newsletter each week keeps you up to date on the items that we need donated. If you are able to donate for the Blessing Box, you can drop those items off in the bin sitting by the door at the base of the ramp. And now for some upcoming dates. On Saturday, October 31st, we'll be having a trunk or treat in the church parking lot from one to three o'clock. We'll have decorated cars. Kids will get to dress up with a mask, of course, and walk safely and socially distanced through the trunk or treat. We'll also be uh, collecting donations of gently used coats, as well as supplies for the Blessing Box. So please see the newsletter email for more details. On Wednesday afternoon, November 4th, we'll be assisting Mana Food Bank with distributing food boxes to families in need in the Wellington Estates Mobile Home Park. So please contact Joy if you'd like to volunteer to help or if you have any questions. And third, on Sunday, November 15th, we'll celebrate our Commitment Sunday. We'll have a chance to participate in person drive through event at the church that afternoon to celebrate turning in our financial pledges and our ministry commitments for the coming year. Dan and Joy and Charles, our finance chair, will all be there to greet you. Details will follow soon. Hopefully you watched Dan's stewardship sermon last week. If not, I sure recommend going back to that and taking a look. Charles will also be giving us a video later this month with the current state of our church financial picture. I hope you'll be in prayer as you consider your dreams and your abilities to participate in and to support this church that we all love. Now here's a new request. Dan and Joy and Linda and Lance have all done a great job throughout this pandemic in giving us the online YouTube videos to keep us spiritually fed, as well as using Zoom to keep us all connected. But as we start to move forward, toward thinking of how we'll safely be able to gather in our building again, we do know that we'll be continuing our online presence as well. So here's where you come in. Do you have audio visual skills? Are you technologically savvy? Do you love all things digital and media related? If you have any of these skills or passions, we can sure use you going forward. So please give Dan or Joy a call or an email. And finally, as we speak of moving forward, for those of you who may have missed Dan's video two weeks ago, on October 4th, Dan uploaded a phase three video on this Skyland YouTube channel. So please scroll back on this channel and watch that very informative video. It answers the questions that many of us have about how Skyland Church is trying to move safely forward. 
So you can see there are so many blessings to be found in the Skyland Methodist family. So please enjoy your Laity Sunday.